What's going on, Dinner Crew? My name is Billy the Squid, and we are back with some more Bloodborne with our Pizza Boomer build, aka the good old Boom Hammer, and the Pizza Cutter, aka the Whirly Gig Saw. We're, uh, we're having a decent time with it so far. We, uh, it took us a while to actually get it because I didn't realize how many things I had to do to get into the DLC. But now that we are in said DLC, or at least have gotten stuff from the DLC, we can uh, we can get the build going. And so far, it's been quite effective. We went through old Yarnum and uh, onward. We've already beat Vicar Amelia. I do need to go up. The, uh, do I need to go up the tower, though? The old hunter's workshop? We do. Because we got to get the, uh, we got to get the umbilical cord. So, we're going to go into the uh, hunter's workshop, get the umbil umbilical cord. Why is that word hard to say? Holy. It is pizza time. Pizza time is going to be the title of the next stream. I knew there was a meme I was missing. Right now, we're just serving up $5 hot and ready uh, cases of whoop ass. So. <laughs> but thank you all for coming out and chilling so far. Getting ready for work is lame. It is lame indeed. Hi, buddy. This weapon's silly. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's pizza time. Why didn't I think of that sooner? You guys are the best. Ah! Ah! Boom! <laughs> uh. Do not die, sir. Go away from me. You know, this is actually going to be a lot of fun moving forward because I'm not used to actively swapping between weapons. So the fact that this build kind of requires me to do so. Well, not requires me, but it, it's the whole point. You, you cut the pizza pie and then you. uh Bye. Well. Guess we gotta reset the game then. I thought I was the only one, but I gotta know if you saw the same thing. Jake, good luck getting to work. Be safe. What did I see, Celia? Or what did you see? Uh, it depended on the angle. Oh, it's dead. Well, where's the drop? Where's the drop? Did I just forfeit my drop? That's gonna make me sad. Me, myself, and I, I didn't really care. I, I did think they looked a little awkward in some of the action shots. But in the uh, the scene with the giant and whatnot, I didn't think that looked bad. I didn't think that looked bad at all. Um, and I am just, this is just me assuming, but I am, I am big assuming that uh, the game is going to have its own, like character creator and shit like that so I'm not too worried about it at this point 
I mess up? I did mess up. I messed up big. Okay, we'll uh, we'll shimmy our way down and then. Uh... Oh man, I wish I could jump that, but there's no way I could. No way that I could. What is this? What are you? Honestly, I've seen a lot of people like not super thrilled with the uh, the fable trailer Not just because it was like CGI But just saying that it didn't feel like a fable game. It felt like a uh, Like a different IP But, I mean, we really don't know what that game is going to look like as a game. Fucking Diablo's CGI trailers and in-game cutscenes look ridiculously high detailed because Blizzard knows how to do cinematics. But uh, then you get to the gameplay and it's a top-down isometric. The, the cutscenes literally have nothing to do with the gameplay itself. So we'll just have to see. We'll just have to see. Hi, Bagman. I kind of want to fuck you up. But I know there's also a doge there. I mean, we didn't really see if there was, uh... We didn't really see any gameplay, did we? Or did I miss it? Because them jumping around the tabletop, that didn't look like gameplay. That all looked like uh, intro cutscene type stuff. Oh, we whiffed. We whiffed. Pizza time. Ah, get off of me. I just wanted to serve you a slice. I just want to serve you a slice. Oh yeah, for sure. There will definitely be a character creator. That, there, there's no doubt about that. I feel like if there wasn't going to be a character creator, they would have been more specific and like given a name to the hero that the dude's talking about instead of it just being like a generalized what do you think about heroes so we will see but hey i uh i will be right back sorry
don't you just hate that chap? Don't you just hate when you think you got everything going, you think you're ready, and then, uh, nature pops up. And it's like, hey, <laughs> you need to go do something. Uh, okay, well, might as well. Alrighty then. Hi, boys. I see you noticed me. Well, does it still say Sekiro over there on YouTube or on uh, Twitch? That's funny. Whoopsie. Which means I was saying that yesterday, too. That's funny. That's funny. Okay, we'll fix that. We'll fix that eventually. Our sack dude is over there now, yes? Yes! Sack man! Sack man! Best dingy cosplay you've ever seen in your life? Bet. Bet! Okay. Now you go back into the hunter's workshop. And edit title Bloodborne Bloodborne Done. Okay. Fixed it. Do you watch anime? I do watch anime watch anime. Hello, Disco. Hello, Pork, by the way. How you guys doing? <laughs> if only that were true. Never take cells. You're a funny guy. I like you. All right, and then we hop, skip, jump. Nice, love it. Love it. We did it. The good drop. Where are we dropping, folks? Back into the hunter's dream. That's where. Back into the hunter's dream. <laughs> yeah, you would think. You would think. All right, we got our umbilical cord. Lego. New pizza. <laughs> pizza tower. Well, welcome. welcome home, good hunter. Here. What's happening to me? <gasps> I'm so happy that you're crying. And then I'm gonna punch it. Boom. Add some blood to the gym. We go over here. Fortify the pistol once, though it can hold a gem. Now we put that gem in the pistol so we can get HP continues to recover. Love it. As for these, you... So we're actually going to pull you out. I'll put you in. You can keep that. And then... Just 
slap those in there. And we're a little bit stronger now. Okay. Now that we got the umbilical cord, now that we have beat old Yarnum and Vicar Amelia, the next step is to go into the woods. So let's do that. Let's go into the woods. Also, I need to... Actually, it might be Chalice Dungeon time. I can't remember when they want you to do Chalice Dungeons. Because I, I did decide I want to do the uh, the Chalice Dungeons in this playthrough. Because the Chalice Dungeons are fucking sick. And they deserve... Uh, they deserve respect. And I also need boss footage for uh, the... Chalice Dungeon Vidya. Or the uh, the boss fight video. If I were to do a boss ranking in Bloodborne, would you want to have base game and Chalice Dungeons all in one video or separate? I still need to get my Sekiro videos out, but Bloodborne, all of them are on the list eventually. Resident Evil games were indeed pog. Good runs were good. I can't remember what the, uh... the factor was for the invisible walls. Farming mats was always a pain in the ass for these. I didn't reach out and touch as nearly as much as I expected it to. It's not gonna be like a, a tier, like an actual like list like that. I'm gonna I'm gonna have a video format for it. But I was just curious if you would want two separate videos, one for Chalice Dungeons and one for Base Game, or if you just want them all smacked together. Can you not throw stuff at me, sir? It's rude. It's rude. It's rude. I don't know which ending I'm... Uh, yeah, probably Squid Baby ending just to get all the bosses. That is the play. There's a lot of rats down that hole. There's a lot of rats down this hole. Hello, rats. Wow, wow. Rats. Get him out of here. Is there nothing? Reject Hunter, return to squid? Not wrong. Yo, Harpy. How you doing? 
Pokemon in. Now I'll have to go and look up the uh, the invisible walls and material farms for these things. Well, the the only reason I'm asking was, do I rank? W would you want me to rank? The Chalice Dungeon bosses and base game bosses against each other or against, like, them set. Because it could just be a Bloodborne all bosses tier list, including Chalice Dungeon bosses, I think would be the easiest, but it would be also a long video, so... Don't do it. Ouch. You're so fast about that. Ah! You mother. Okay, who's summoning you? Where is she? You. Oh. Ooh. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Ugh. The chalice dungeons are so troll sometimes. Oh my god. Is there one of you assholes in all of these smokes? I hit with my boom stick first. Back into Animal Crossing lately. Good thing to be back into, honestly. Animal Crossing is pog to the wog. A whole from soft boss tier list. Well, you might not have to wait uh, too much longer. I'm, I'm hoping. Little, 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 uh, tibbly bibbly. I, I do plan on doing something like that this year. You heard it here first. That's the whole point of me going through the, uh, the FromSoft catalog, as I am. The only thing that would make it real fucking awkward is, uh, Elden Ring, because holy shit, there's so many bosses in Elden Ring. the boss gate where's the boss gate I don't remember the only problem with the chalice dungeon oh there it is it's right in front of me I am a fool the only problem with the chalice dungeons is the lack of uh, the lack of like markers to note where you've been and where you uh, need to go I guess the little messengers will light candles to show when you've been in a room, but... Still, lack of variation makes it difficult. Okay, what is what is the first boss? I don't remember the first boss of the Chalice Dungeon. Undead Giant, okay. Okay, 
he did not like that. This is the easy giant, by the way, because it doesn't have the, uh, the chains. Oh, eviscerated. Oh, that hit me. That is a big hitbox. I don't like that. I don't like that hitbox. This man do be leaking. Just a little bit. Ow, he kicked me! There we go. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye, sir. True, true. You're not wrong, Celia. You're not wrong. But yeah, that's my big end of the year project is to do that. I honestly really enjoy boss ranking videos, like watching them myself. So putting my own uh, content of that regard out there is appealing. Oh, what? Very well. All right. Now more, uh, more damage. More damage! I don't remember how to, uh, continue down in these dungeons. I don't remember if there's a secret in here or if I need to uh, conduct another ritual or what I need to do exactly, but... I also don't remember the level scaling for these kinds of things. Yeah, so that's where we fought him, and now we can go down, down in an earlier round. I'll just kind of go until we feel like we're getting our butt kicked. I also need to give the mace a bit more of a try. See if it's any, uh, any good. Yoo-hoo-hoo-hoo! Okay, there's the boss door. So good to know there. Let's go left. The dark, dank hallway of dark dankness. Oh, hi. Can you not? Holy... This dude in the corner's got my number. It's like the fire R1 of the boom hammer, but worse. Okay, but what was the fucking point? Hi! You're being summoned by something, I see. Great. Good to know. I think this might be just a room that you drop down into as a shortcut to come back. That's what it seems like, anyway. Is there anybody behind the fog? Fog of war. 
Ja, je. Haha. These guys are silly. And now they will pay. That was awkward. Since when does the game give iframes to people climbing up ladders? Lame. They made their mistake. They should be held accountable. Ah! Why are you so loud? Who's summoning you? lady we're done here be gone be gone oh I forgot about this guy the naked rolling man That is now owning me because I, I keep wanting to bonk him. And he is the the master bonker. Thank you for the blood vials, sir. I definitely need them. Lol. <laughs> The naked rolling man strikes again. Okay. So. I believe this is probably the room that we... Yeah, we can drop down into. Okay. Kill! Kill. These first dungeons usually aren't too in-depth or detailed. But I still feel like there's an invisible wall somewhere that I am missing. I'm curious if that's actually a decent attack, also. great damage. I'm just gonna throw it out that way. Doesn't seem to be great damage. Sackman. Ah! Sackman smart. Sackman guard. Sackman Bonk. Sackman dead. More ritual blood. Love that. All right, let's uh, let's go see what uh, the floor two boss is. I believe the floor three boss is the watchdog, which. I probably won't be getting much use of the boom hammer out of. Considering he be spitting flames. The gank boss. Right. 
Right. The one with the gun. Ouch. Can I actually cheese them on these stairs? I think so. Although that hurts a lot. My turn. No, he missed. Oh, get off of me! Get off of me! Chonky. Okay, which watcher? I think it's the saw one that's actually almost dead. Oof. Oof. Well, this man here does not have a lot of health either. One down! Hello. Goodbye. Just you and me. And we whiffed. What kind of a man hits you with his gun? Okay, I was trying to be cheeky about it. This man wasn't one to play ball, so we did, we're, we're just gonna whack a mole him and call it a day. I was trying to be cheeky about it. But I guess not. But I guess not. All right, one more. One more. Mew. Layer three, let's go. I want to try to do these in like the most fair way because I know that if you save them all for endgame, these first few dungeons are just wildly easy. Prospector Olek. Oh, hi. So I want to give them the opportunity that they deserve based off of uh, the appropriate time you're actually supposed to do them. Oh God. Oh no. Hi buddy, Are you just kind of running up to me? Ha ha ha, is it a trap? We got red boys. Where's, where's mom? Mom. Mom. That'd be up here, right? There she is. Hi, mom. Can they actually shoot that cannon? Is there another one? Is there another mum? Where's the other mum at? Yeah, here. Oh, hi. 
These are actually one of the rarest creatures that you can find in a dungeon. They will not attack you if you do not attack them. They just kind of chill and watch. I don't remember what you get for actually killing them. But I do know that they are indeed rare. King angle acquired. Let's go. Let's try Labyrinth. You lose. Good day, sir. I will find one of your invisible walls at some point, too. Yeah, these little lanterns here, they show where you've, uh, where you've been. I think that's pretty neat. way right there's no way that's all that was there right hmm maybe maybe that was all that was there loot room don't mind if I do. Tomb mold. Love that. Oh, yes, in the upper level of the courtyard. Totally got to have something good up here, right? Something. Maybe. Her chance. But also maybe not. For nothing. Scamazed. Ah, hello. The device is currently not operatable. That's okay. Down we go. Down we go. Oh, hello. Centipede? Do not want. Oh, there's another sack, man. I actually do want this. These guys drop, uh, potentially decent things. I believe they, uh, they can drop, uh, parts for the rituals. So it's good to get them while the getting's good. Unfortunately, I have not, uh, gotten any of the ritual pieces from them, but that is okay. God, those things are unsettling. Hate, 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 hate. Double hate. Loathe entirely. It's like a house centipede that uh, got caught in a nuclear reactor. All right, 
one more loot room for the last uh, boss of this dungeon, and then we can get back to the main game. Hi. Thank you for waiting so patiently. Do preach. Oh, there he is. Oh, and he's angry. He's angry. And all I'm getting are bloodstone shards. That's okay. It's not about the treasure, but about the friends you made along the way. Practicing his dance moves over there. Okay, so this room. Definitely has a secret wall somewhere. This one definitely has a secret room somewhere. 100% has a secret room somewhere. Or a counterpoint. Maybe it don't. Maybe it don't have a secret room. And I'm just a madman swinging at walls. Looking for something that is not able to be found. down there. That's just the way back in or way back down. Is that like a shortcut? Aha. The big loot. Don't mind if I do, bud. if I do. Thanks for the ritual blood. Ominous. Thanks, I hate it. Okay. Onward. To, uh, victory. I do believe we have a watchdog to fight. If my brain remembers correctly. Hmm. I am lost. No, I'm not. Final boss of this dungeon. Watchdog. If I remember right, this boss is actually kind of rough too so there's potential for me to get completely bodied here maybe it's just pt 
PTSD from what they ended up using this character model for in Dark Souls 3. Because this is very much the raccoon dogs in Dark Souls 3. And those things haunt my nightmares. Sir. And he has the nuke. I want to break that leg. like that. Oh, that was his healing animation. That was its healing animation. First, uh, first Chalice Dungeon finished. GG. We love that. Overall, that boss was about what I expected. I definitely could have shredded him down more if I had used Beast Blood Pellets, but I wasn't confident that I could uh, survive some of its attacks. And it very well might have killed me on some of those attacks if I was uh, beast blooded up. Not too bad though. Welcome, Welcome home, good hunter. A few levels in the uh, damage. What's up, Stevens? How you doing, bud? How are you doing, bud? All right. We can make this one. Go ahead and make it. We will, uh... We'll work a little bit more forward in main story and then we'll hop into that one. Pizza Boomer from a real boomer. <laughs> yeah. Pizza Boomer's been fun so far. I'm very much enjoying it. All right, to the forest. Away. Also, I need to remember how to do Eileen the Crow's quest because that, uh...
has a juicy relic that I definitely want. You couldn't have just died, could you? You had to be fucking awkward about it. It's fine. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. I didn't mean the other forest. I meant this forest. With doges and hunters galore. Ouch! I didn't realize I'd been seen. I mean, from over there. Is that is it that dude in the road? Really? No. No, it's not. There's a sneaky little sneaker over there. Where is he? There he is. Hi, buddy. He has a glinted your rifle scope. It's over. Try some of these uh these charged R2s. Like what I do with the uh the boom hammer. I feel like I could be potentially pretty handy with uh this weapon as well. Most of my health back. We like that. Why did I not know these guys dropped twin shards? Wild. I mean, it makes sense. To look at them. They're completely fucking spiked. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, what's up, JR? How you doing, bud? How did I miss so many hunters? Where's the other ones? Where are the other ones? Or that way. Ooh. Now I managed to hit the exploding barrels. I've never seen that happen in my entire time of playing this game. Oh, that's right. There is this gent with the dogs. Okay. That's where they came from. Scooby-Dooby-Doo and 
I'm actually gonna go back and level up because I got enough. I think I got enough twin shards that I can throw some into my boom hammer. I think I can throw some into my boom hammer. Yes, I did. Love that. Okay. Cool, cool. We are doing quite well, JR. Quite well indeed. Okay, Mace is actually good here. Them dying in two swings, it seems like the quickest DPS that we got right now. Hello. Oh, she was a toughie. That was a tough one. I'm so glad that the assets for these ladies got reused. So happy. Because they're one of my favorites. I think they're really nifty. I think they're really cool. Come on down. Ha 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 ha. Welcome back, Jake. Hey, dog. Wow. And read me like a book. The throwing arm on that old woman. She holds the unique ability to not only throw a ridiculous distance, but to also throw repeatedly. Very quickly. Yes, JR, unfortunately, it is still a PlayStation exclusive. What's going on, Dragon? How you doing? One day, if we all huff enough copium, maybe we'll get Bloodborne on uh, PC. Together, folks. Together. Yeah, we are bulking right now. Hell yeah. Those twin shards are the reason why I'm coming this way, by the way. New design a chat bot. Yeah. Yeah. Stream elements hitting the pride month. Little bit of flare. from him get away from him I 
will save you, my child. Yes, come this way. Come this way. Don't accidentally hit him. All right. There you are, son. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Now you're free. Now you're free of these heathens. You can just live your best birdie life, okay? Here, let me let me get this corpse out of the way for you. There you go. There you go. Look at him. This is my son, guys. This is my son. I call him Corvus. He's my baby, and I love him. Oh, God. What kind of churros? Are they the apple or the raspberry churros? Happy to see you around, Oposki. No! No, 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 no. How about no? Raspberry. Delicious. Both of the churros are good, but I am partial to the raspberry myself as well. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Bye, buddy. Wanna do it again? Oh, he's angry. Understandably so. Ouch! Happy to be here if only for a few minutes. We're happy to have you. No worries at all. Do I have enough insight to see the monsters here? I think I do. No, I don't. Or I would have saw them at the uh, the gate of the uh, the village. We're free. We're fine. We're vibing. We're vibing. Why do I feel like there's another giant? It, there is another giant. I'm feeling it because it's true. I have the foresight of past experiences guiding me. Die! Die! Come here. Oh, that was a jump. Let me do that. And I'm out of stamina because I am bad at stamina management. Might actually need to yoink some points into uh, stam, honestly. Both of these weapons are kind of stamina intensive. Ouch! Lady. 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 Boop. Boop. Did that on purpose. Pro dodge. Is there a jump button in Bloodborne? There is not. Elden Ring was the first. You can jump, but it's like your standard uh, Souls like run and jump. And it's not very good. In all honesty, it kind of trash. And you can't rebind it to the joystick, so you'll just end up, uh... You'll just end up jumping when you're trying to dodge and, uh, have a real bad time.
First things first, I'ma run past and open up this gate. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Open up the gate. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow, he's got hops. Oh, man, he hurt. But not enough. Not enough! Next! Do it. Do it! Come on! Do it! Headbutt? Was not expecting the headbutt. Was expecting that. You did not disappoint, sir. Get boomed. <laughs> While it was a trap, I can't help but miss it in every game that's not. Elden Ring, and I can't wait for the modders to integrate the jump button into every game that isn't Elden Ring. Exactly. I take that back. Sekiro is technically the first one with the jump button. Sekiro started the trend, but verticality was like the reason for Sekiro's entire existence. <laughs> Listen, I've already been seduced by the serpent that is the jump button, okay? Paradise is lost. And I'm just trying to have a good time at this point. It spoke sweet nothings to me. And I obeyed. Oposki, have a wonderful night at work. Again, if there's anything I can do, let me know. I got you. Oh, I forgot about you! Is this gonna kill me? No. man three for three this does he have does he have the Elden Ring tracking does he know when I'm trying to do things I think he might. I think he might. Holy crap, dude. Holy crap, dude. All right, ladies. I deserve that. I was obviously being too aggressive and I needed to turn it down. Apparently he did do it before it was cool. What am I doing? 
Of course I'm gonna use this weapon for this fight. Why would- Oh, hi! Get him! 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 I forgot there was a scuttling beast there. All righty then. Troll boss is troll. This is not on PC, Stevens. That was almost half a health bar. Okay. Bye. Okay, so the cool thing about this boss is it's a gimmick boss. You walk in thinking it's that, but it's not that. That is not the boss at all. That is a scam. The real boss is these small women. And I say women because there are two of them. And you don't know this until you uh, merc one. But occasionally, you'll hit one of these women, and you'll realize, hey, the health bar didn't move. That's because there are two. If you do not kill them in perfect tandem of each other, then, uh, you're gonna have a bad time. Okay, I heard her behind me. So I can actually go and execute this one. Never mind, not gonna be able to execute that one. Okay, she just spawned there, I believe. At this point, it doesn't matter because they're both one-shot. But if you can one-shot them before the second health bar appears, and then go and find the other one and and get her, then uh, you win. Oh, how convenient. That was almost a hitless fight. So if you don't do that that way, then they'll revive the other one. The both health bars will appear, and you'll have to kill them both off at the same time. It, it's a it's a nifty fight the first time you do it, but then it just gets kind of tedious every other time that you do it. All this for the Rune Workshop tool. One of the most powerful tools in the game. I need to look up Eileen the Crow Crow's quest line because I do want her uh her covenant rune. And, uh, okay, while we're loading this up, let's uh, Very well. let's level up a little bit, shall we? Let's go to twenty-five and then bring health endurance up to fifteen. I just want a little bit more stamina for a few more swings. Good luck with work, dragon. Much love, buddy. Mooch love. All right, where is the next? Okay, just at the cathedral ward. Farewell, good hunt. 
da 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 Uh, define restrictive. Tomb below Erden Chapel in the Cathedral Ward. I have business. Uh, I don't feel that way. No. I mean, it's it's like any other From Software RPG. You can grind up as much as you want. Um, and I've never really felt, I mean, by end game, maybe, but you also have to remember that the build variety in this game is absolutely minuscule. So you've only got effectively unless you're going a super niche build that you probably won't go your first playthrough because blood tinge there's only a few weapons that actually scale off blood tinge besides your guns so it's not really a stat that you're going to be dumping points into unless you're doing something niche same thing with arcane arcane you need specific gems for arcane to even do anything you have to add a element to your weapon to get arcane to actually function as a an effective stat so really it's between strength and skill that is true though the blood rock situation is uh Farewell, a bit frustrating i think you get more than one blood rock but it's not much more than one i think you can get two three with the dlc All right, JR. Have a wonderful night, bud. But yeah, the blood rocks are definitely super restrictive. Everything else you can farm, so you can get a lot of weapons up to plus nine, but you can only get three weapons in a uh, single playthrough with DLC up to uh, up to uh, plus ten. It is restrict, so yes, it is the most restrictive as far as that stuff goes, but it also has the minimum like the lowest amount of requirements for an effective build because weight isn't a factor so you don't need to worry about carry capacity or anything like that it's literally just survivability endurance and damage and two of your damage stats are so niche that you probably will not use them necessary of you but you have my thanks we made it with our lives you're not bad at all thanks i appreciate you, you. kill gascoigne as well then i did unfortunately he had to be done apart, i'm sure it had to be done it did have to be done that is what i just said keep your hands clean okay a hunter should hunt beasts 
leave the hunting of hunters to me. <laughs> Thank you. Alrighty. Heinrich down. I don't think I have enough to... I might. When did I get all of these? When did I get all that good blood juice? Go and eat this before I forget. Welcome. Very well. More damage, please. Farewell, good hunt. The thing about this game, though, Celia, is you are kind of correct because there's no way to respec. So if you're going for, like, a PvP meta build, which PvP in this game was garbage, so no real point to do that. But if you wanted to... Um... You'd have to be very careful with your levels. I do love the Ashen Wolf cat. A lot of cool stuff. A lot of cool stuff. Let's uh, let's get another stack of uh, pungent blood cocktails because those things are OP. OP.gg. No re. All right. Defense is good. This rules is good. Communion is okay. That we can work with. Speaking of, let's go ahead and spend the last of our uh, stuff on vials. Okay. Back to Cathedral Ward. like we are actually hmm wait a minute wait a minute did i mess up i did we have upgrades i can upgrade another i can actually i think i can upgrade both of these because i think five is i think five is the play maybe it's six maybe i don't have enough to upgrade both of these I'm getting close getting very close ah uh, but i don't have the uh the echoes I literally just burnt everything. Lol. Funny. Funny joke. Oh, that's right. We got the doll set, which sells for a fuck ton. I did forget about that. All right, boom and whirly. Let's go. Then we can actually get some more levels. Welcome. Very well. Up to 30, let's go. Got better gems. Got fire gems. That kind of goes with the uh, the boom hammer a little bit. That's just better overall. Uh, yeah. 
<laughs> cool. If only you could do both. <laughs> That's what multiple playthroughs are for. All right, now we go to Cathedral Ward. Let's go. Let's go. Hopefully you all have been enjoying this. If you have, don't forget to like the stream. We will be uh, probably doing one more area and then uh, calling it. See how I'm feeling. Um, that area is actually a secret. Hi, buddy. Take me away. Take me away. One more. One more bash to the back of my head. Do it. Do it. Thank you. Thank you. Big preach, big preach. Ooh, what is this? We didn't just die? Transported away in a sack and left. This is what the sack people do. We know their purpose now. They abduct after bashing in the back of the head. And here we are. Here we are. You hard a ghoul. Where we have such wonderful sights and companions as terrified nun. Oh, you've come to say by us no giggle. Be sure to please not to that in Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, sir. I was seized on the street by the hulking brute in the cathedral ward. Yeah. And many others, but they've been taken. Um, She'll only talk with you like that if you're wearing uh, church gear or Gascoigne's gear. Otherwise, she just kind of freaks out. I just want to light the lamp. Now this is an excellent place where you can actually get some uh, some quality farming done. guys all drop bloodstone shards. I find the wolves in uh, Old Yarnum a bit easier to farm. Oh my god. As you see. And then once these guys get enraged, they are quite the bully. Luckily, they are too tall to get down here, so you can take advantage of that.
Exactly. Exactly. Or you go into a Fume Knight's boss fight wearing a Belstadt's helmet. Love the gear giving uh, different behaviors. Always a nice little touch. Pebbles. The old ladies collect pebbles because they're actually trying to collect eyeballs. And the pebbles look like eyeballs. Same thing with the crows. The crows will drop uh, pebbles because they eat them thinking that they are eyeballs. might be one of the coolest fucking things that I've ever used. It's such a nifty weapon, dude. It's so simple but effective. I really do enjoy it. A ton. Hi! <laughs> Thank you for the peebles. There's actually one more thing I want to do out here before we go and do that, because that leads to a boss. That leads to a boss. Hello. Hello, Pigley. blood sky. Not quite yet. Not quite yet. We're here a bit early. We were here just a little bit early, game. Not quite yet. There's not even corpses in these wagons yet. But we can get the uh, the black robes, which I think is pretty neat. Also one of the better armors in the game. Now, Morn's dope. Morn's kind of an alpha chad, to be real with you. Hmm. I remember that armor being better than what it was. It's actually fucking poop. Yeah. He he's just very loyal to his duty. Not a bad guy. See, that's why I need more stamina so that I can pizza cut a lot easier. A lot, a lot easier. Oof! You just got got 
dog. You played yourself. You played yourself. Come here. Come here. To me, doges. Listen, I'm a human being, okay? Killing dogs in video games brings me no joy. I can do this. Threefer? Threefer! Love it. And that is where you get the tinnitus early, if you ever wanted to get a, uh, a giant mace that you can buff with electricity. There you go. And that is the one weapon that you can get effectively pretty early in the game that can actually utilize the arcane stat. That is the one, the one and only. Except for the dogs in the Capra demon room. There are exceptions to everything. There are exceptions to everything. Yeah, the hammer does just do a big boom if you don't uh, buff it. Just a bigger boom if you do. Okay. Let us... Uh, let us return to dream, buff ourselves with uh, more XP, and then go fight a boss. This is roughly, I think, the time that you're supposed to fight this boss. Might be a little early, but... Very well. We'll see how it goes. I'm pretty, uh... I'm pretty confident. Farewell. Your heart... Oh, wrong one! No! The teleporting system in this game is so slow. Loading screens? Really? You gotta go back to the hunter dream, and then you gotta go to the tombstone and do it all again. You can't just teleport from one lamp to the other. Really breaks it up, man. Is that the one? The Hypogean Jail? Yes. Yes, it is. I will say Bloodborne on the PS5 is at least a godsend that uh, it gives us stable 30 frames per second, which is a lot more than the PS4 could boast. And this kind of goes to show that uh, stable 30 is very much playable. Is it ideal? Is it something that I would want on every game? No, I like my frame rates. But 30 FPS is playable. Whoa. Y'all thought? Oh god, she's gonna take my eyes! With her ice cream scooper. For sure. They should also remove the uh, the health penalty from invaders, because that was asinine. 
Because evading is already hard enough as is. You can't really force yourself into somebody's game unless they're playing co-op. And then they have a very easy way of turning invasions off. I would argue it's a, uh, a worse system than Bloodborne's invasions, or than uh, Elden Ring's invasions. Defector and Tau. Because you lose 20% of your health as an invader. Like, not like it, like they take it from you, but your max health is reduced by that percent. It's silly. It's silly. Okay. Dark Beast Parl. Let's go. limb breaking is OP. this game was dumb there were your honor duels um there's a lot of the chalice dungeons that were actually dueling societies where you just would not heal doing it so honor duels for one invasions were dumb like natural invasions real real dumb the only thing this game really had going for it was a probably one of the more active dueling communities because what you would do is you would invade in either in one of the chalice dungeons or the uh, end game level, there's a big bridge that you would fight on, or like a big step um, before uh, the wet nurse. You would invade in, person would come up to you, they would do this to take a portion of their health away to even things out, and then you would fight. And it was kind of a back and forth. The fact that healing takes a millisecond is a problem, but also you have to remember that healing can be parried in this game from a range. So they had to have a way of uh, doing that. It, it's kind of a, a band-aid fix for heal spamming, but if you were good enough with your gun, you could punish a healer quite easily. But yeah, invasions didn't really exist in this game. And the invasions system, you would only naturally invade somebody solo if they were in one of the Nightmare Realms. Because each Nightmare Realm spawns a Bell Maiden that allows invaders in. Or if they were co-op in any of the non-Nightmare Realms. But if they got to the Red Bell Maiden and killed her, it turned off invasions and so you never happen, so. There's also a bell that you can ding -a -ling to bring a bell maiden into your world to allow for invasions if you're a solo, which just turned into duels, so. It was a very weird system and not a very good one, mainly because this game's not really built 
for PvP. It is a PvE game through and through. Welcome. Very well. Alrighty. Well, folks, that, I do believe, will be where we end the stream. We are up to level 44, so we'll probably start the next stream off with the next Chalice Dungeon. And then um, roll into more content from there. We got the, uh, the Snake Forest coming up. And then uh, Rom the Vacuous Spider. And then we go into the end game. Very exciting. Very, very exciting. But until next time, Tenant Crew, much love. If you enjoyed the stream, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm out. Bye-bye.